is navigation of the 44 millimeter smartwatch. When you first either tilt up or touch the side of the watch, you will be brought to the watch face. Depending on what you select is what will actually show up here. To change your watch face when on, all you have to do is press and hold the center of the watch face until you get this blue outline that zooms in. From here, you can swap between your watch faces. And whatever you happen to be on for the last one will become your watch face. Now, the navigation is fairly simple with your watch face. If you pull up from the bottom, you are brought to either the brightness, where we can change this all the way up to level five. For the purposes of this, I have it on level one. You can see up there, your battery is displayed. This is your do not disturb mode, which will prevent any notifications from being sent to the watch itself. This down here is your find your phone icon, which if we select this, even if your phone is in silent mode, we'll still ring it. As you can hear, slightly off camera. Down here, this is our settings area. We can come into here and it will show us watch info. I'm not gonna show you that because there's private information. Brightness, we have a toggle just for our brightness here. To go back to a previous screen, simply swipe from the left hand side. Do not disturb mode. We can turn on do not disturb mode, which is that quick toggle that we were accessing before. Scrolling down, you have heart rate. Selecting this will allow the watch to continuously monitor your heart rate. So within normally five minute intervals, it will take your heart rate so that it can chart it. Regulatory, well, information about the watch, FCC filings, all that fun, happy stuff. Scrolling down, you can restart your Wise Watch from here, or you can reset your Wise Watch from selecting one of those two options. We're going to swipe to the left again, and then one more time. Oh, and then down, because this was our original menu that we swiped up from. If you swipe down from the top, you will have your notification shade. So any email notifications, text messages, phone calls, that'll all be listed there. Phone calls can be terminated from the watch by clicking a hang up button, but you cannot pick up the, the phone call from the watch itself. If we swipe over to the right hand side, here you're brought to your quick apps. Selecting the first one here, activity, that lets you know how much you've walked, how many calories you've burned, your heart rate per minute, and then hours sleep. This is the only thing that you can see when you swipe over from that. And the step count's a little low because, well, I forgot to wear this today. Sports, what this will allow you to do is in three, two, one, go, it will monitor your miles run, time, beats per minute, and then calories, and then your average time. And then to finish your run, you actually have to press on the side button there. And we're going to say finished, and it's going to say that it wasn't long enough to actually register as a run, and I'll say that's fine. This is the only activity that the sports mode will actually track. Coming down, we have heart rate. If we are wearing this correctly, it will measure your heart rate. So three, two, one, and it will give you a heart rate reading based on the flashy lights that you see there in the background. We're gonna to swipe to the left. You have your blood oxygen level. Again, selecting this, please wait while it measures. Again, from resting position, you will have a red light that will calculate your blood oxygen level. Coming down further, we have alarms. Uh, I'm at a loss for the alarms themselves. I've tested several different ways of doing this. I thought at first it was just my phone wasn't connected to the watch overnight. I cannot get these to work at all. On the 44 millimeter one, on the 47 millimeter, these actually seem to work because it vibrates the watch. That starts to be where I see significant differences between the operating system for the smaller watch as opposed to the larger watch. If we come in and actually could set these correctly, you can toggle it on or off. Clicking and holding on it will bring you into the options which will allow you to set a time, whether this repeats or whether you're allowed to snooze. If this worked, it would be really cool because I can come in here and I could select a specific day every day. Timer does work. If we select on that, you will get a stop. Ability to choose from one, three, five, and 10 minute timers all the way up to one hour, or you can customize simply by selecting and dialing in your own. The timer's not bad, it's, it's just that, it's a timer. You click on it and it starts counting down. So we're gonna stop, go back. Weather, 
Depending on how you have this set up in the WISE app will either target your current location or where you have it set to. You could see a current forecast as well as a three-day forecast. Next we have shortcuts. There are no shortcuts, you have to actually use the app. If you had a shortcut, you can have up to 10. This will allow you to quick set some of your WISE products. Turn on and off camera, turn on and off light, but they do have to be a WISE product in order to use this. Here we have cycle tracking. If you have the 47 millimeter version of this and you select mail as part of your bio, this is automatically taken out. However, they don't do that for the 44 millimeter. Not saying that that's a bad thing, but why do it for one and not the other? If you need to uh, track your cycle, you can do so right there. And the last application that we can access is our settings, which will give us watch info, brightness, heart rate, restart, regulatory. So all those things that we could access originally from that quick menu from up front. Now our watch faces, one thing that the 44 millimeter does have over the 47 is you can have up to six different watch faces. However, selecting a pull down from the left does nothing. You do not get those extra screens that you do with the 44 millimeter. If for whatever reason you need to restart the watch because the screen is unresponsive, it happened to me once, just click and hold on the power button and then you can power off or restart your device and simply tap to bring it back. So that has been the navigation for the WISE 44 millimeter watch.